What's up guys and welcome back to episode number 20 of our Project Ozone 3 Skyblock Let's Play. That's right guys, episode 20, we have made it to the 20s, which is awesome. I've definitely been, been enjoying the series and I appreciate all of the support. So uh, let's get into the episode today. Um, now it's going to be really laggy and that's because I have flipped some of our farms on over here. But um, So if you guys watched the last episode, you'll know that I went ahead and made this uh, nice auto sieve here, an automatic auto sieve uh, compared to the other one, the multi-block structure from modular machinery. Uh, it's definitely a lot nicer. Um, and that was a long backup, 10 whole seconds, almost half a gig is this the backup took. But anyway, uh, so yeah, we have our um, modular machinery auto sieve here. Uh, and I changed this setup a little bit here. Um, I have eight of these material stonework factories now. Um, and they're all still making compressed gravel, or at least they should. Uh, I don't know what was up with that one. Yeah, we still have some weird items in these from when I was setting them up. But anyway, um, yeah, so those are going to here. I discovered that um, despite me, my only inputting it into one of the item inputs, um, I was getting resource um, resources out of both outputs. So I put an ender chest on both. So both outputs are now going into our system. Uh, let me come over here to the lag machine really quickly. Um, I'm going to turn this off in a bit here, but the reason um, I wanted to show you guys is because I actually need to be farming these resources. Uh, one, I have grains of infinity. I, um, I've i needed a lot of these and I was like, hey, I bet there's a seed for them. And sure enough, there was. So I just made the tier one seed. So we've been farming those for a bit. We've been farming wood seeds and I'm going to need a bunch of wood for this episode as you guys will see in a bit and I also uh, am farming glowstone because um, well I'll need a lot of that as well so oh man creeper think I can shoot him from here Ooh, got him but uh, so if we look at the essence in our uh, system here you can see we have a bunch of grains of infinity a bunch of glowstone essence and even more wood essence so I'm actually going to pop over here turn these guys off yeah this is the biggest lag machine um, that I think I have out on my base is these um, farming setups here and I think that is because of all of like the block updates when these have um, growth um, when they grow a tick when they grow a level there's a bunch of block updates so yeah that's just generally awful in the lag um, so I'm going to look at maybe um, transferring those into a void dimension. I have never done that. I've never played with this mod, but uh, we'll look into that a bit later in the episode. But for now, what I want to do to begin here is completely demolish um, our system over here. So let's go over here. I don't want this old clunky mob farm anymore. I want it done with. I want it gone. I want it out of our lives. I'm going to turn my magnet off here. Um, Definitely going to want that, which probably went into our system. Hopefully. I'll get the uh, obelisk later. But yeah, don't need this ender chest anymore. So now we just have a bunch of uh, chests. And these have a bunch of stuff from loot bags in them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to vein mine this. Okay, that didn't work as well as I would hope. Let's see. That's very strange, yeah. This isn't completely vein mining. All right, that did a good amount. You know what I should do is probably take down these mob fans. Man, these take a while to break. I was hoping that the vein mining of this would have um, just torn down the whole thing. I'll have to get these mob fans later because, yeah, but for now, I sort of just want to mine this cobble, get it out of our way. So yeah, I'll come back for these mob fans. Um, actually, I want to get these two. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. So yeah, um, vector plates, sure. Um, so um, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do it. 
And this vein mine. Oh, I know why. I have my um, excavate shape to 5x5 five five when I was in the nether. So that's better. Beautiful. One thing I want to do is eat one of these. That way you guys can see better as well. So yeah, we have ourselves a completely empty bottom platform now. Our old base is functionally and essentially no more, uh, with the exception of these few blocks. Um, but yeah, let's go back up. Uh, I want to show you guys what I want to do today. I'm dilly-dallying too much, I've realized. But anyway, we've destroyed that. If we come all the way up here, I have another platform, and this is where we're going to uh, put our new mob farm. First, let me uh, maybe void some of this stuff that we don't need anymore. I will use this absorption hopper, though, um, potentially. So we'll keep that. But yeah, I have a, um, a chest here, a crate of stuff that I want to use today. Um, in particular these redstone lamps. So I want to put a ceiling down here. Now I'm going to do a cursed earth mob farm as I alluded to in a prior episode. So let's place... Oh no. You know what? I'm just going to vein mine these. I'm also going to turn my magnet back on. Oh, man I'm not doing too hot so far guys. Look at this. Misplacing blocks. It's been rough. It's pretty late when I'm recording this, um, so maybe I shouldn't be, but we'll go ahead and go for it anyway. Alright, now the next thing I want to do, and these are going to all, I'm going to want an input on all of these. I wonder if the, uh, this works for these? No, it doesn't. So yeah, I want to be able to power all of these redstone lamps with the flick of a switch hence the redstone conduit here. Um, and I'm hoping, obviously I'm not going to go, but if I maybe put this lever here, does that work? No, that only powers one, um, the adjacent block. So I'm going to have to go through on all of these and put them on input. I'll do that. Um, you know, and I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, well, no, we can set up some other things, just a general outline. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to have our mob masher here. That's going to be powered. Um, so I see I have a drop in evil here, which is how we're going to actually get the cursed earth. I have mob masher upgrades. We'll put those in. Those are just sharpness. I don't really think I'll need looting. Um, because, because, um, uh, we're, I mean, this is going to be running so much. I think we're going to have plenty of drops, so I don't think looting will be an issue. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and set this up. First, let me just tell you the uh, the reasoning behind it here. So we have um, redstone lamps six blocks away from every cursed earth block. Uh, it used to be in the past, and I'm hoping it's still the case now. Um, but if you have a redstone lamp six blocks above cursed earth, it would deactivate the effects of the cursed earth, so no mobs would spawn. However, it would not burn the cursed earth. So that's what I'm going for here. So I'm going to put all of these conduits uh, on like an input mode or an output mode so that they um, they all get lit up uh, when we flip the switch so I'll be right back once I do that guys alright guys so I have this set up to where when I flip the lever all of the lights come on which is what we want now I'm gonna go ahead and just go for this we put that drop of evil down you can see it turns into cursed earth immediately we're having mob spawns already but if we turn that on I'm hoping that these guys oh wow yeah these guys are fast I forgot that the cursed earth mobs are pretty buffed um, but anyway now what we're gonna want to do whoops not that so yeah this seems to work still now no mobs are spawning um, and the, also the cursed earth is not the cursed earth is not uh, going up into flames now I'm hoping that these vector plates don't um, is that absorption hopper still working? I'm hoping these vector plates don't um, inhibit the ability of the cursed earth to spawn mobs. Um, it should operate the same because mobs still spawn in uh, mobs still spawn on uh, regular dark spots, even though cursed earth is is here. So we'll see. Um, all right. So now I should be able to just cover this up. 
and then flip our lights off and these mobs should spawn theoretically beautiful let's turn that on uh, the other thing we should do I'll let these guys die so I'm gonna have to develop a sort I didn't know that uh, guardians these guys might be a little bit of an issue I had no idea oh I forgot about that. turn that off shouldn't I so guardians we'll have to see if they eventually make their way to the mob masher I really hope they do now let's put our sharpness upgrades in there though and let's uh, turn that on so yeah uh, for now the um, turn that on for now the absorption hopper is just pumping into this um, small crate here this is just so I can get an idea of what items we're going to get and then I'll set up a system for our storage drawers down there now the bags will get sorted appropriately and some of these items will from our old mob farm but I think we will get some new stuff as well so uh, I'm gonna let this fill up for a bit and we'll see what kind of drops we get um, so then I'll add drawers for those um, so yeah this is just a nice system I can come up here and easily turn on and off on and off um, and we're gonna get some nice loots from it uh, and now we have our mob farm um, a lot more compact and uh, nothing is down at our old base anymore um, so I'll tell you what guys I have another plan I'm gonna uh, let this run for a while I'm gonna get some other things together uh, and I'll be with you guys when I get uh, those things together and we'll move on to this next thing that I want to do today alright guys so I have gotten some of the things together that um, we're gonna need however uh, not everything so I made some vibrant capacitor banks I made 25 which is quite a few uh, 25 times 25 million power is what we'll be able to store so yeah I want to upgrade our power system um, and to do this I'm gonna have all of those capacitor banks I also taught our AE system to make up to the solar panel 6 now I don't know if we'll be able to pull this but I'm hoping can I do 25 of these that's gonna be a hundred seventy five 175 um, bytes pretty 175,000 bytes pretty much um, we're gonna need more glowstone essence so let's actually just um, pour a bit pop that on uh, the lag machine is turned on so sorry if it's a little framier now um, and the other thing we're gonna need is some um, obsidian now I don't remember how much that was missing uh, hopefully this is enough let's see but yeah, I made some changes to our AE system, which I'll show you guys here in a sec. So let's just see, once this thing gets enough um, glowstone essence, let's see if it'll be able to have the obsidian. No, we need 12 more obsidian. Okay. And then, yeah, just more glowstone essence. Okay. That's doable. So yeah, we'll let the uh, obsidian fill up and, the, um, and our glowstone essence fill up. So yeah, I added some drawers to the, that the mob system is going into. Um, it's not very organized on this wall anymore but that's okay I guess um, but anyway I made another sub basement level and I also expanded our um, ME controller to like a 3x3x3 three by three by three rather than a 3x3 three three. Um, so we have more faces it's not the most organized I'll probably have to mess around with things um, but if we come down here um, you can see this is where I'm going to put our auto crafting systems and our um, crafting processors so yeah I have three uh, rectangular processors now with varying levels of storage um, I think this one only has 364k but th these two have 464k and a bunch of co-processing units and I made this structure which I found um, I just found it online and some pictures of it essentially it's just like this pyramid type thing um, not really a pyramid but uh, um, like concentric diamonds I guess you would call it of molecular assemblers and ME interfaces so I assembled one of them there's 32 ME interfaces and they're all at least facing a couple of uh, ME or what are they called um, molecular assemblers so yeah this is um, helping speed up our auto crafting I also have room for two more of these um, in the future whenever we need those and I have obviously more room for more uh, crafting processors but anyway, let's check out our obsidian now. All right, we have plenty of obsidian now. I should really automate the obsidian production going into the ME system, which would be easy enough. Just plop an ender chest on there. Um, so do we have enough glowstone, I wonder? Oh, I didn't turn the, I didn't turn this on. Okay, whoops. Now it's really gonna lag. 
Oh yeah. So yeah, we didn't get a lot of glowstone during that time period, unfortunately, but let's just see. Solar panel, six. 25 of those? Can we do it yet? No. So we need some more glowstone essence, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna need 100 glowstone essence. But now that's coming in relatively quickly, maybe. Um, but anyway, guys, I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do is let that run, let this get enough glowstone, and then begin the crafting process of the solar panels. Um, well, for now, actually, we can, we can go up here. I think I'm just going to do it above our cursed earth farm, maybe. Um, yeah, sure, why not? The one thing I'm going to need are some blocks. So let's grab some cobble or something. Man, I always go over the wrong side of my ME. I also uh, hooked up our cobblestone to the uh, drawer system so we can see that in the ME system. All right, so yeah, let's um, let's see. Where's the center of this, roughly? Looks like that guy. All right, so yeah, we'll just go up. Sure, that's a good number of blocks. And what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna have a dimensional transceiver right here. Now this dimensional transceiver is going to be the center of um, the center in these vibrant capacitors. So this is five, right? One, two, three, four. No, I can't tell the connected textures or so. Yeah, that's five right there. So um, if we build out this guy like so, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. And now this is going to hold, well, we'll see here in a second, uh, 625 million RF. Currently we have like a, uh, I don't even know how much, but we can also expand this if we need to, like just five, uh, 25 more up uh, and just keep expanding it up. Um, and then to this, I'm going to put our solar panel sixes on. Now, if we look at the solar panels, um, Panel. So yeah, the solar panel six, you can see it generates um, two, essentially 2,000 RF per tick times 25. We're going to be producing 50,000 RF per tick in the daytime and storing it in that battery there. Now that dimensional transceiver is just going to be a, a sending one. So it'll send all of that power to all the other ones around our base. Um, so yeah, essentially it's going to take the place of this guy um, that's sending power from our 50 million cell. Well, 75 million, I guess we have, but yeah. So these um, magmatic dynamos, I'm going to keep them around because they're each producing 600 RF per tick peak. Um, times 12 is 7,200 RF per tick. So we'll be producing right around 60,000 RF per tick when I finish this. Um, in fact, let's see if our um, if we have enough glowstone. Looks like we do, in fact. So yeah, I'm going to just kick this process off. I actually don't know if it's going to work. I'm hoping our auto crafting can handle it. So yeah, we have everything. Look, we, we need to craft 14,000 gravel. Yeah, this is going to take literal, probably like an hour of real time. So there's no way I'm going, oh, nope. I guess, I don't know why we can't do that. Um, yeah, it won't let us do it. So we might have to do this in batches. Can I do 10, 6,700,000 rather? Nope, can't do 10 either. 8? Can we do 8? No, of course not. Well, I really don't know why I'm not able to. If you guys know, let me know if I like why I can't craft 25 of these, for example, because I have the bytes in our in our storages. See, like I can't even do 5. Um, but anyway, I'm going to craft these guys and I'll be back with you guys once we have those assembled and we'll um create a nice new power system up here with a bigger battery. So I'll be back with you guys when I have those things together. All right, guys. So I was able to go ahead and actually craft all of our solar panels. I'm not sure what was happening before, um, but like earlier, as you guys saw, when I queued up 25 of these, I wasn't able to continue this. Um, now I'm missing clay and obsidian, so I can't do it, but I was able to just queue up 25 of those um, and it worked, which is interesting. The other thing I did here was made this sort of like cobble works thing. So I have um, 
some of these producing gravel, two of them producing gravel, two of these producing sand, and two of them producing glass. So we're continuously now just getting um, those resources in our system. So if you just look at sand here, you can see that's increasing slightly ever so often. But as I said, I now have everything available um, in order to continue this, or to complete this rather. I'm going to pop another um, vibrant capacitor bank on here because it just so happens that um, the crafting recipe crafted 26 rather than 25 because it crafts the uh, solar panel 6 in multiples of 2. So if I go ahead and put these guys on here, I'm turning that off for you guys. Whoops, wrong button. There we go, and there. So yeah, uh, 26 of these times what was it, 2,000 RF per tick, pretty much? Yeah, these guys are generating 2,000 RF per tick. And we have 26 of those. So this thing is currently getting 53,000 RF per tick, which is pretty dang awesome. Uh, our power troubles should be alleviated for now, even though I really wasn't having trouble. Uh, this is going to allow us, for example, to like, we could run our Enderman farm and do uh, a bunch of stuff. But I just wanted to get a good power gen set up. Um, in order to do this. So I actually, I want to, first let me actually go down here to our basement here, because uh, what I want to do is take this guy and essentially delete him. Delete, delete. Alright, so I uh, assume we're not going to be getting any power at our base, which is bad, but that's why up here we're going to send or we're going to have this one called main power which is the new one um, and we'll add that channel and this is only going to send power so we're only sending power from main power on this uh, dimensional transceiver so that's going to allow us to send all of the power from the vibrant capacitor banks up there and now I'll go ahead and go down here um, so what we're going to want to do is get on this one and uh, available. So we're going to receive power from the main power up there, which is, well, I probably should not have done that. Um, but anyway, I think this sh all should still be getting power, right? Because these are now going into that, which is... I'm not sure where these are going into. Um, let's see, where is the... I can't tell where the uh, front is. This might be the front. Yeah, this is the front. Okay, so... um, Is this okay how I have it? I'm actually not 100% sure. I know we're going to want to output on that side. Um, yeah, this is receiving, so this should probably input into our energy cell here. Perfect. All right. So yeah, that should be good. And that's uh, well, no, this should be an output. So that's outputting power into our acceptor now. So yeah. So this is all being powered um, by our setup up there. So now we're making about sixty thousand RF per tick, um, as I said earlier. So yeah, this is just a nice way to upgrade our power system here. This is going to fill up. Um, so you can see we're probably like net gaining at least right now with the operations going on around thirty thousand RF per tick. And that's only going to go up, but again, as the uh, as the night time comes, we're going to lose our power here, which is fine. Um, so the next thing I wanted to do, guys, is, um, you know, I've been able to flip this farm on, but it really does cause a huge amount of lag. So I want to look into this portal to the void. So let's try and make one of these. So we're going to need some eyes of vendor. Do we have any blaze powder? We can craft a bunch of that. Alright, so... Might as well just use my friend of pearls. Who, who cares? I have a bunch of those. So, portal to the void. Um, not 100% sure how this works. Is it sort of just like a... You hop on it? Hmm... 
Alright guys, so this is obviously not working. Again, I've never played with this mod. I just went ahead and made the block thinking it's sort of like the deep dark portal where you just stand on it. Uh, I'm going to do a little research on this and hopefully get back with you guys and get in a void dimension where I can transfer all of my farming stuff over. So I'll be back with you guys once I do a little more research on this. Alright guys, so I have um, gone ahead and crafted a few things here. Um, one of those things being two more plant gatherers. So I um, have discovered how to use this portal here. I'm sure a lot of you guys knew, but you just right click it. Um, that's about the only thing I didn't try. <laughs> but anyway, I have um, begun the process of setting up my um, farm here in this void world. So the one thing I am going to want is just a chunk loader. I'll put that there. Uh, so this is currently at nine chunk or two chunks, I guess. Or, okay, so this radius is different. And this is uh, going to be nine chunks, which, uh, yeah, that's definitely plenty for now. Um, in fact, I could move this maybe like, sure. So yeah, this is now loading this m whole area, um, which is nice. So yeah, I wanted to... Um, be able to load this chunk um, or these chunks where all of our farming stuff is uh, so now the other thing I'm going to need do I have wood in here of course I don't uh, so I'll have to get these later um, but I'm just gonna put our plant not there put our plant gathers down I might need to break these crop sticks and again here um, so yeah guys, like I said, I've transferred everything over. You can see here in our chest, I, all of the mystical agriculture seeds that we have created, um, I have gone ahead and just put in our chest here. Um, so yeah, uh, as I need these things, I'll eventually just, um, hook them up, uh, to the system really. So, uh, as of now, I have all of these guys, um, with conduits ready to extract the essence, um, what I want to work toward in the future here, now that I have this um, complete here, and they're also all receiving power um, down below here, as you can see, with room to expand. Um, so yeah, they're just getting fed off of this thing. In fact, I don't think I'm... This might block the... Uh, although it's nighttime here, I think there are day and night cycles in this world, but I wonder if this conduit is going to block um, this solar panel from operating. It might, so I'll tell you what, let's just, yeah, I have enough of these, so just in case that is the case, um, I can put this here. So I'm hoping that this guy, it does look like it's starting to generate, so yeah, it must be getting daytime, maybe, um, but yeah, now it's, it looks like generating some power, and this is hopefully going to get some power, yeah, very slowly, um, but anyway. So yeah guys, this is going to um, be a good setup. Now all I really have to do, or all I should have to do here, let's just, you know, let's just, uh, let's plant some seeds, I guess, why don't we? So this plant cannot grow in the current light level. I don't think that will be a long issue. So yeah, I'll just put our steel next to the cobalt here. Um, so I just sort of want to put this stuff down to prove that this in fact this system will in fact work um, but yeah let's just put some of these in alright that works so yeah I should just have to press this here which will induce a bunch of lag because of all the block updates but yeah that's in fact obviously working very well as you guys can tell by all these plants growing um, so let's turn that off because of the frames but yeah, so all of those are going to grow up very quickly, as they just did. Um, and we'll be able to harvest all of our different materials that we want. And eventually I'm going to pipe them in, all of the resources, into an ender chest for in our AE system. Um, but I do want to work on, um, not this episode, I'm going to have to wrap up here very shortly. But uh, I want to work on an auto crafting system where I can essentially take a bunch of the different essences from these in this void world, send them into a crafter, craft the relevant material, and then dump all of those materials into an ender chest. And eventually what I want to do is have um, some 
like RF tools, um, redstone transmitter and receiver. I believe those are things. Uh, yeah, so like a redstone transmitter and a redstone receiver next to each of these. So uh, I'll have them active with the signal. And then from our main base, we can transmit a redstone signal into this dimension if we want. Let's say, oh, we need redstone. Let's turn that on. And we can just flip that on and get redstone. Um, so that's the plan for this eventually. I'll probably work on that in the next episode. Um, but for now, yeah, this is going to wrap this one up, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this episode was a little bit all over the place, but we did do some really nice things, namely uh, um, bolstering our power generation. We're making like a solid 6,000 RF per tick so we can afford to have a bunch of things running constantly. I'm hoping this uh, alleviates lag here. So this is kind of why I did this. Um, and it's going to allow us to better gain resources as we need them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I am now back from my vacation. This is uh, Monday's episode, as you guys can tell. So hopefully I'll have some time uh, in the upcoming holiday week to um, get some episodes out for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And as always, more to come from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.